Hey everybody, um, we are going to do, I'm going to show you a little hobby, hobby lobby, why do I have a problem saying that on a video, I can say it fine any other time, um, and don't look at my nails, y'all they're bad, um, a challenge, and so I wanted to, um, share some of the things that well i'm going to share everything i got but you'll you'll know what i'm saying um hobby lobby is no longer doing a coupon it's not going to be that big of a deal guys the the issue we are going to run in with it is things that do not go on sale fabritac um however walmart sells fabritac michaels sells fabritac so don't go to hobby lobby and spend $14.99 on a bottle when you can go somewhere else and get it cheaper. Don't have it shipped to you because the shipping's going to cost you at Hobby Lobby unless you go over 50 bucks. So, I think my, uh, Michael's is 35 I think. But anyways, Michael's has it. Walmart has it. I mean, Amazon has it. Don't, don't stress about the coupon. Most everything else is going to go on sale at least once a month anyway. So, just prepare for it. So... Um, we are going to start doing some challenges, and so I wanted to, because of the season that it is, prepare you for one that may be coming up. It is coming up. So if you're going to do it, you might want to get these things so you can get them cheaper. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but I wanted to show you. So some of the things that I got over in the wedding section, they are clearancing out their little flowers with the pearls in them. I got them for 99 cents a piece. They're usually $3.99. So I got three white ones and I got three ivory ones. So I got those. Um, Tim Holtz stuff was on sale this week. I didn't need a whole lot because they had a clearance last week of their older stuff and so I went and bought a bunch but I got these corner um, the corners and then I got these swivel clasps. I've not had them before. And then when I looked on my receipt, she didn't give me my 30% or 40% off. So I'll have to go back. But it's not a big deal. I go in there all the time. Um, I got this for a project I'm working on that's a swap already. It is from the wood pile. It was not on sale. It was $1.99. Um, they're just little metal filigree things um, like you would put on a wood box or something that's not what I'm going to use them for but I wanted to show you those they're really cute I also got these little appliques for something I'm working on they were over by the wood stuff um, they were not on sale but they was a buck ninety nine um, and I live 20 miles away so it's at Buck 99, it's cheaper for me to get it than it is for me to make another trip into town, if you know what I mean. So I got those, and there's what, one, two, three, four, six in there. Y'all know I make appliques and. Oh, hold on. Let me go back. One of them, I got a pink one of them sheer organza flowers, too, for 99 cents. Um, I showed a picture the other day of what I was working on, and it was paper clay. And clay happens to be on sale this week through Saturday. Um, I don't remember what it what it was. Hold on, and I'll see if I can tell you. Thirty percent off. So it's normally nine ninety nine, and it was six nine. Nope, six ninety nine. It's paper clay. Guys, if you get this, make sure you seal the bag. Put it in a Ziploc. When you're working with a piece, close this up. It will dry out. And when you do this, if you're putting it in molds or whatever, when you're done, make sure it's got a flat back or you're not. You're going to have to sand it. And it's not going to want to stick and you're going to be aggravated. It will stick eventually. but um, And these are, they're like ceramic when they're done. They're, they're breakable, so... If you're going to use this, make sure you're going to put it on something that is hard or like a book cover or a something, a piece of wood, something like that. 
And when I'm painting furniture and I want decorations, I make them out of this. They work great for that. I do use this on the front of my journals sometimes to go down. The trick is make sure the back is flat. If it's not, sand it until it is. Just make sure it's flat before that or you're going to be miserable. But I'm miserable most of the time because I don't manage to get it flat. Anyways, um, and when you dry them, you need to dry them on a flat surface. And as they're drying, you want to kind of don't lay something on excuse me or you'll lose the mold part of it but we're going to work with some of that one day just so you can see um oh i got these they're called impressions mats they are from the bakery part and i thought they're 99 cents they're normally 3.99 but they're on clearance and i wanted to see you know when you are tea stain in your paper and it's got decorations on it i wanted to see if i can get this to work it's kind of oh there's two pieces one is not as maybe that's just the this one's thicker and this one's real thin. I don't know if I can run this through my metal or my physics or not. That'd be pretty on paper. But, you know, like embossing paper. But I was wondering if I can put that when I'm tea staining down on some paper or something. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait. Hold on. Inspire. Oh, that wasn't thick. Well, anyways, there's four of them. However, I don't know. I'm going to have to think. Anyways, I got two sets because I thought, oh, I need two of those. Well, really, I didn't because there's four in each one. Oh, oh, but maybe if you taped them together with washi tape, they would be thick enough to go through a Sizzix, maybe? I don't know. Well, I'll have to try it and see. They were 99 cents, so it's not a big thing. This is actually in the bakery sec section, so I think you actually probably put um, some kind of powder on it and then place it on the cake. Much like you would a simple stencil, only not nothing like that. If that makes Oh, my goodness. If that makes sense, it says... Sunny Side Up Bakery Impressions Mats. But no, it looks like... Oh, it makes an impression in the fondant. So you might could use this with paper clay. I don't know, guys. Anyways, it was $0.99 cents piece, so I'll have it until I figure out something with that. Let me throw that away or I'll be off in there. Okay. The other couple things... Well, I got several other things. Two other things. I got this in the bakery part. It's a decorating triangle. It's got edges, and I thought, ooh, I bet it is pretty hard plastic. That would work for a tear ruler, or like if we was trying to do stamps or something, something. Look, I'm about to get a piece of paper. We're about to find out. We are going to find out whether it works or not. I don't know. If it doesn't, you could still, if you're working with modeling clay or mixed media stuff, you could make lines or whatever. I just want to see if this will work. No, it does. It's not really wanting to. Oh, yeah, it does. Looky there. Shut up. Can you see that? I wonder about this side. Because this is a little different. Y'all look. I don't even know. This one's got a different edging. Maybe not. Oh, if you pulled up on it, it did. What about this edge? 
No, that one's not going to do as easy, I don't think. But you could always put it down and just use your ink and make you an edge looking thing. But this edge worked, and this edge worked. I mean, it wasn't, this edge wasn't as easy, but it worked. But that would give you a, I don't know, I think it's cute. I'm going to figure it out. So I got that. Now, another thing, go back with the clay. Over in the bakery part, they have these little things. They're, they're cut and molds. They are a cookie cutter, basically, or chocolate, whatever you're doing. And then this mold. And you cut it out, and you make it real thin. That's the whole point. Make it thin, because it's like for fondant. And then you put it in here, and then you smash it, and it will actually make this shape, right? So, I buy these a lot. I have a flower one and several different other kinds. But I have something I'm working on for somebody that likes butterflies, and I want to do some in paper clay, so I got this. Um, $3.99. It was not on sale. The wedding stuff, or the bakery stuff is not on sale this week. I could have waited until next week when it is on sale. However, if I go in there next week, I'm going to spend 100 bucks. It was cheaper to buy it this week. I promise. I promise it was cheaper. Um, let me see what else. Oh, in the Easter part, they are these little bird nests. Now, I'm actually going to use these in a challenge coming up over the next couple of months. April-ish, May-ish. Okay. They're $3.99. The Easter stuff is 40% off right now. So, that made it $2.39 a piece. So, I got two packages. Um, but there's four in a package. And you won't necessarily have to have these, but they're nests. I mean, they're cute. They're not Easter colored. So it's not like you couldn't use them in something else. I'm going to use those in a challenge later. You will not be required to have that particular piece in the challenge. So you can get one if you want. If not, don't. Um, back over to the wedding stuff. I got some of the pins with the tops. Um, so that I could make a few things with these out with some beads. Another his and hers in the wedding was this big lace. It was typically $9.99. It is nine foot. So for five bucks because it was 50% off. Um, that's a little higher than I like to spend on my lace there. But just because I have so much of it. However, this particular one you could cut down in the middle. So... In essence, you could have 18 feet for the price of 9 feet. So, that really wouldn't make it only 250 a spool, and that I'm okay with. Um, three more things. You might want to get these. You might want to get some of these. I'm just saying. You might want to get some of these. These are wooden spools. They are not on sale this week. They should be next week or the week after. Um, now, with this being said, these do not have the wide pulled out tips. It doesn't matter. So you might want to get some of these when they go on sale. Or you might want to save you a toilet paper holder or paper towel holder. You know, the little thing that's in between. And the ends... Of some ribbon pieces just the round ends or better yet save the whole dang thing like that that would make it you could just do that save that whole thing when you're done with it I was trying to make you make something and you don't even have to because it's already made for you just like this but it needs to be a tall one at least but that's probably two inches so it needs to be at least two inches tall this one is three inches I guess yeah three inches so either a wooden spool um, for thread or one of these now 
if you like to stain something, paint over it, whatever, then these would work better. However, this will also work for what what we're going to do. Okay? Just needs to be a spool. So, that'll be coming up. Um, the other two things. This I just got. I have a farm and I decorate with eggs and stuff. This was in the Easter stuff. It was normally $7.99. It was 40% off, so it made it $4.79. There's eight in here. They're just little ceramic eggs. And I'll decorate these, or we may do a challenge with them or some something. But I just got these because I was at Hobby Lobby, and I was in the Easter part, and I was looking for something else, and I saw these, and I bought them. And that's why I don't want to go to Hobby Lobby next week. Okay. These you will probably need, or something like them. Now, Michael sells them in brown. Hobby Lobby used to, but I could not find them in brown today. It's okay, because these were on sale. Um, Amazon has them, but you have to buy them in like a package of 25. I don't want 25 of them. So, I did not buy them that way. I bought these. I will have to paint them. I will have to do something with them. Put paper on them. Dick pie. Something, something, something. But, y'all. Easter egg cartons. The six pack. Now, you can... You can just save you a regular old carton if you want to, but it'll have to be the cardboard kind. If you want to do a 12 thing, it, it doesn't matter. And you'll know in some upcoming weeks, or maybe next week, or I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure where, when I'm going to start it. But these are from Hobby Lobby. They're normally $7.99, so that would make them $4.79 for six of them. You don't need six of them. You really only need one. Actually, I think you're going to need more than that because you're going to like what we're going to do. So, it's going to be fun. Um, however, if you don't want six, don't do six. I mean, you got to buy six, I guess. But if you live close to somebody else, trade them out for something. You you want a spool and they want this. So, each one of you buy something and swap. One of you takes three of each or two. You don't know, have them. It doesn't matter. These happen to be colored. I'm not going to use them colored like this, guys. I can guarantee you that. Um, but they are just a six hole egg carton. When you shut them up, they look like this. I don't know, I kind of like this pink. I like this pink. I'm just saying. Um, so we might be in the next little bit, a little bit next week or so, because, you know, I got a lot of things going on, so... You might need one of these if you're going to work on a challenge, okay? So, get your hands on one. You can do the 12 one if you want. Um, so, if you can't get a hold of these, don't stress. Find your cardboard one at Walmart. Go buy you some eggs in the cardboard. Eggland's best ones are in cardboard, I think. Oh, no, no. They may have gone to that white stuff. Anyways, Brom sells them like this. Um, you can get the one with 12, but you want it to be... The cardboard kind, okay? Because you don't want it crushing and being all kinds of flimsy. So, that might be something you might look into getting. I went ahead and told you because I know Easter stuff's on sale. It'll be hitting 50% off before long. And I would have waited until then. However, my luck is not that good. And my Hobby Lobby is very small. And they run out of stuff. And then I've got to drive an hour and a half one way to try. So, I went ahead and bought them. I could have probably saved a buck, but I went ahead and bought them because I'm anticipating what I'm going to use them for later. So, that's just a little something I thought I'd share with y'all. Be anticipating with what's coming with this um, and what's coming with these or this, depending on. So, you might want to gather those things up if you would like to participate. Ferdinand, it's a truck, honey. So, um, and I know somebody's going to comment on my nails because I know they're bad. Yes, I know. But I had a cut right there, so they couldn't do them because it was an open cut. I cut myself with a Pioneer Woman Wife. I bought a new set. Holy Mother of Goodness. That sucker 
three times. I used three knives in three days, and I cut myself three times. And it was deep, like I should have gone and got stitches. So I had to wait for it to heal up, right? So I did this last week, and he said, oh, give it three or four days and let it kind of close up. Okay, yeah. Well, then I cut this finger. And these are these are my real nails. They're just, I they're dipped. Um, I don't wear tips. But then I got this one right here when I nicked it on the feed thing outside. Okay, well, let that heal up. Well, then I got a snag in my cuticle. So now I'm waiting on this to heal up. So at some point, maybe, I'll stop hurting myself and um, I can do that. Now, on these, some places sell brown ones. I know Michael's used to. Hobby Lobby used to have them. I did not see them in the paper mache stuff. I did not see them back there with the craft stuff. They may be somewhere, but they, they weren't in either of those places. The only place, two places I could find them, one was over by the fake fruit and vegetables over by floral. And they were not a full container. It was just like this little bottom piece right here. And it didn't go over it. They were too expensive for what they were. And they weren't going to work. So I went back to paper mache and back in the crafts part. And I didn't see any of the brown craft ones. Now your Hobby Lobby may have them. Mine is small. They don't carry very much. Um... Yours may. I know Michael's used to have them. You can order them off of Hobby Lobby .com, or I guess. You used to go. Um, I'm sure Michael's.com has them. You're probably going to prefer the brown ones. I'm going to paint these. so it's, I'm probably going to paint everything but the pink ones because I like the pink ones. Um, so that's not a big deal. But get them while they're on sale. And then you'll have them. I think once we do this, y'all are going to enjoy it. So, I mean... And then we may do a swap down the line of them, just so you can be prepared, okay? Anyways, that's all I got for today. I better get off here get this uploaded so I can get it over on to the group page. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you today. Um, it is hump day, if y'all know what hump day is. That is Wednesday, um, the 3rd of March. Um, so, y'all be anticipating this. There will be some new um, posts about it in the near future. Um, so, be watching for those. Y'all guys, y'all have a crafty day. Enjoy yourself. Have some peace. Have some quiet. An extra cup of coffee. You know, whatever it is you need to do to make you okay today. I'll talk to y'all later.